run game, a guy blocking tight end. Uh, but it's led to an Ebron discussion again. And I, I, I you know, the, the message has been sent loud and clear. 95% of Detroiters believe in Bob Quinn slash hate Eric Ebron, and we're happy to see him go. I don't have a problem with them releasing Eric Ebron. What I've been surprised at is they haven't really made any moves that have said, well, that's why you released Eric Ebron. And and I've, I've said this a million times because we get texts, what an Ebron slappy, quit leg humping Ebron, you know, all that kind of stuff. Doug, you know, why do you love Eric Ebron? If they release Rick Wagner, starting right tackle, to save money and didn't have do anything else about it and just said, you know, we'll probably roll with Joe Dahl. We think maybe Joe Dahl can get it done. But they let a bunch of free agent tackles go and sign elsewhere. I'd be just as perplexed. This isn't an Ebron thing. It's how you're using your resources. And I don't know because many of these responses are, Doug, Ebron sucks. <laughs> well, we could argue whether or not he sucks. I can get that he's frustrated you in the past. But that's okay. Get better as a team. Do they feel like right now they're better as a team than they were going into this offseason? Yeah. Okay? <laughs> now, could they make some signings in the coming days? Yes. I mean, Hankins... That'd be a good a one. It's a step in the right direction. A step, definitely a step in the right direction. Will Hankins be better than Nada? Because they could have tried to bring back Nada, right? I think that's questionable. Well, I, I think it, Hankins is younger. He's like better than Nada younger. for this upcoming season. I would I would tend to think that's going to be the case. Would it be as good as Nada was last year in the first half of the season? I don't know. Alodi Nada was really good in the first half of last season and then tore his bicep. Yeah. But – a lot of indications, man. I'm telling we, we keep going through this with free agency. I think it's blinding right now of what Matt Patricia is going to do. He's going to implement a 3 4 defense. We can talk all we want about, oh, we got some blended defense. We can run some 4 3, some 3 4. But I really think what he's looking for is maybe starting off with a 3 4 defense and blending into the occasional 4 3. All the linebackers that they've signed. You know, the inability to really look at defensive tackles until now, and you're looking at a guy like Andrew Hank or Andrew uh, Jonathan Hankins. <laughs> Andrew Hankins, I went to high school. Uh, Jonathan Hankins. Uh, did he play football? Uh, he did not. He was a goaltender in, uh, in hockey. Very good. Um, but Jonathan Hankins is a guy who plays in the middle and, and plays really well when he's in a 3 4 defense. So I, I think the writing's on the wall that this is going to be their primary look. And. That kind of makes sense now. It doesn't make up for giving up eight and a half million bucks or looking uh, to free up eight point two five million dollars, and now you really don't have a tight end. Yeah. Now, here's something really interesting regarding Jonathan Ankins, and it uh, comes courtesy of Michael Rostein, who retweeted it, and and he's retweeting a Colts writer named Andrew Walker, Colts GM Chris Ballard, on why uh, Jonathan Ankins was released. Quote. He didn't fit schematically what we're doing. This 4-3 defense is predicated on athleticism and speed. So he fits more in a 3-4. So Jonathan Hankins makes sense in Detroit because, again, more evidence. It's going to be a 3-4 defense. Yeah. 2 4 8 5 3 9 97 We're going to get to this NCAA tournament thing, I promise, but the phones are packed and people want to talk. Quincy and Saginaw is next. Hi, Quincy. Hey, how you doing, fellas? Right, hey, good. you know, I was, I was listening to that comment you made a little before the commercial break when you uh, stated that it's some behind the scenes with this Ebron situation. I think it's more to it. You know, when you kind of made a little comment, say he could have spit on, on the guy's desk anything. You know what I mean? I mean, with a guy, you know, he's not – maybe he didn't live up to maybe his talent, said he should have been, but he wasn't terrible. And – to let them go like they did, it got to be more to it than what's being said. I'm guessing. Well, I mean, that's kind of I, I I've tried to make that point clear because you know we only have so much. When something happens and you start digging around, you talk to people that are that know better than you or should know better than you, and you go, okay, what can you tell me about this? Was there something behind the scenes, and they don't know of anything? And, you know, all right, there might be more to this story, and I will constantly acknowledge that. You know, because I can't see, you know, Quinn just, you know, letting this guy go just 
clear and free practically. You know, I mean, he did. He just cut him. I can understand the money. You know that. You know, I understand that's part of it. But you know, like you were saying earlier, I, I just think it's more to this story. You know, Quincy, there, there might there be. Maybe to come out. There very well might be, and and if it does come out, or we hear anything at any point, we'll pass oh. it along. Because there are times when there have been moves that have been made, and and I've been told. All right, buckle up. You'll find out. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, but this, I got nothing on this one. I don't think that would be the case of this. It could be. I personally don't think that's the case. I think it's simply freeing up money. But where are they going to spend it? And I've said before, I think this is something you're going to have to wait out until you get through uh, through August. Until this roster is, is set with 53 men, we're not going to know if that's true or not. I think there are other ways to spend the money and trades could be coming. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Robert is on a cell in next. What's up, Robert? Well, good morning, gentlemen. I you? wanted to say my opinion is that um, I think there's a little more drama to Ebron than Quinn wanted to deal with. Uh, he's a decent player, and if he was a different personality in the locker room and on the field and with Twitter, I think he'd still be there. But I think they wanted to move on. And the reason they didn't get anything for him is he wouldn't work with them. In my opinion, this is a guess. I don't know. He wouldn't work with them on agreeing to a new contract with prospective suitors. And uh, they just had to uh, cut their they, they just had to cut their losses and save their money. That's kind of the bottom line with it. And I think this Quinn knows exactly what he's doing. There's a lot of Quinn uh, love today. There's a lot of oh. like if, if, if the totality of the work including this free agency the approval rating is through the roof yes well, well i do find it interesting that eric ebron who's 24 will be 25 next month i believe but he's 24 years old and the contract he signed in free agency is a two-year deal that's interesting because wouldn't you expect a guy who's ready to enter the prime of his career to get more to get more Longer. than a two-year deal yeah uh 85% the approval rating currently at. You can vote on Twitter. 85% approve of the job that Bob Quinn has done. Let's go to Vince in Southgate. You're next. Hi, Vince. How are you guys doing this Good. today? No, it seems like every position, though, they're downgrading. Look at the offensive line's been downgraded. The secondary's been downgraded. The linebackers, you let Whitehead go. I mean, there's not one position they okay, they finally got a ball back, finally, but we've known that for years. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. I, I disagree on the linebackers. I think they made the linebackers better. If they're going to go to a 3-4 defense, which it looks like what they've done, they got the leading tackler from the Bears last year to help out, and they got a, a pass-rushing uh, linebacker from the from the Giants. Canard. It's, it's going to help out. Help out. And, yeah, but one had had 80 ta solo tackles by himself. 80. Yeah, well, the guy that got – Christian Davis, Christian Jones. Christian Jones had, I think, more tackles than that. But where's the upgrade in any position? Oh, I just they, told they're, you that. They're I, not. I, they, I see, if the rest of the division has. Yeah, the rest of the division's work is kind of scary. Uh, I mean, I'm not scared of of Cousins being any better than Keenum was last year, but uh, they went and got Sheldon. But the Richardson. Vikings as a whole aren't going anywhere. 